quick hit before we get to the shop, man. Charlie back on the channel, man. Yes, sir. Ready to get it go. Look at it, I'm already folding them. Like food right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lunch time. Finish my tacos. Mm hmm. Tacos. Sir. Well, let me show you what I got already uh, as far as the parts. On 93, and like he put a little bit of EA5 and made close to seven. So with the cam, the other bolt ons, shit like that, I feel like it's gonna be like mid, mid seven. Like, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's why I'm like, man, I don't know about the fuel system. Now, I did have the guy that sent me the injectors now. He said that 
the DSX uh, low side can hold up to 1200 horsepower, but I mean, I don't feel like I need that because that's another thousand dollars, bro, for that aux. Yeah, that's a lot of money for that. So, all right, guys, I want to do an update. I did get some brand new LT4 injectors, these are brand spanking new. Um, thanks to a guy on the Facebook Marketplace, I know I had a lot of people on my face, I mean, on my YouTube channel saying that you never buy like used parts well technically these aren't used but i mean i still got them from somebody offline and they are brand new uh part number match everything gm part number right there lt4 injectors um so i guess i gotta come up from you know the bad guy trying to give me those bad two day old injectors uh and then we got some brand new ones that are not even opened yet um, he gave me the clips as well very responsive i think his name was logan um, shout out to you dude for helping me support me uh, and being honest about the injectors this go around so now I'm gonna go ahead uh, I think Charlie's gonna work on the C7 at the second shop so we're finishing up here we're gonna go ahead and drop off the C7 and then I have to go get the supercharger and the rest of the parts all right guys so we just made it to the new shop man this is their new upgraded shop we got the vet right here uh, we're gonna start the supercharger build here at this location man this is nice I like the way the lifts are Real nice over here. The lighting, everything looks good, man. Got like a little downstairs and stuff over there. But yeah, man, we're getting ready to start the supercharger build. Charlie should be on his way here. Uh, but man, look at it. Ready. Looking good. Brand new supercharger. Yes, sir. We're gonna go with stock pulley. See, he said that one's the nine pound pulley. Okay. Yeah. And the instructors are pretty like, like, uh, how you say? They're very detailed. Yeah, they got like little pictures and shit. I think. Hell, yeah, that's what I like, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> 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 he said they don't like reading. <laughs> yeah, they, they're like, you can go through it, I think. And it shows you, like, I think it was like pictures and shit. Yeah. Little detail. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. What about the mass sensor? I think it's in there too. Um, that other second box has everything, bro. Everything, pulleys, sensors. Uh, it has even the spark plugs, the boost plug, spark plugs that need to be in here. Uh -huh. Everything is in there. Okay. The only thing that was out was this supercharger that was in. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna need. Yeah, it There's shows you how to do that. For the heat exchange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It even has that front piece that I was talking about, the plastic piece and everything. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Hopefully we'll get Pretty easy. Yes, sir. Let's hope we can get it quick and start hearing the thing. Why? Hopefully. Here we are. We're at the C7, man. We got a lot of progress going on right now. Um, Charlie been here uh, a couple late nights busting ass man trying to get it taken care of we are at the new shop um elfer's new shop uh, make sure you guys support the shop man all the exhaust work motor work they did the uh ctsv helped me with the build on that one and now we're on the c7 right now so currently um let's go through a couple things we have right now we do have the intake manifold taken off already uh intake all out of the way uh we do have the ports covered up this is most one of the most important things so nothing falls in i believe we are taking the heads off we possibly going to be doing that i might have a little secret that i'm trying to do um i don't want to say that just yet but uh that's where the fuel pump is right there um as i was going through the lt4 high pressure fuel pump that i needed this is the fuel pump for the c7s right here uh the valley cover and all that stuff like that as you guys know we got the new one and everything inside of the new parts box um, so we're making good progress man yeah here's the instructions so far as you can see how far he's pretty much progressed looking just about the same huh <laughs> photo finish almost but yeah we're making um hella progress there's the flex field sensor wire everything going through there but i wanted to keep you guys updated on the supercharger build making good progress we all know adding the supercharger to the vehicle adds a good amount of heat um and stuff like that so as much as i don't like it it's not that i don't like it i'm a little iffy of it uh methanol injection so i've been looking at a company called snow performance if any of you guys have heard of that company or know any good reviews bad reviews let me know down below but i plan on ordering the methanol um, injection from snow performance doing a methanol kit 
and that'll drop the temperatures down a lot and we can gain more power out of it. Um, I'll, it'll come with a tank to add in the back. Uh, I think it's a dual nozzle setup uh, that goes into the MAF airflow sensor area and sprays uh, methanol injection into the uh, intake system and everything and cools the supercharger, cools everything down so all the temps will be a lot cooler and we can make more power and stay, you know, temperatures down low. Because as you guys know, when we first dynoed this car from the cam, uh, the E85 setup and everything, our intake temps were extremely high. So we weren't able to make any crazy, crazy numbers. But as James said, you know, the car makes good power and it's running good. But as far as the temps, everything, it was just too hot that day. And uh, I'm trying to get this done. We got pretty cool weather out here. And add methanol injection to that, man, that'll be freaking crazy. We'll probably make some decent power. Um, there's a couple things we do got to check. I know we had like a small, small exhaust leak on this side right here. I heard it as I dropped it off. So we're probably gonna uh, fix that as well. All these pulleys and harmonic balancer, all that's gonna get changed out. Uh, we got all the new ones over there and everything. So yeah, the meth <laughs> methanol injection is just something I want to let you guys know. I'm looking into the snow performance one right now. And once again, if you're new, here's the brand new LT4 supercharger. Uh, I believe that is a nine pound pulley. I might go with a different one. Um, I'm gonna look it up because i'm thinking about going a different one with that one because i want that nice pulley that's like you know anodized or silver or color and then uh change that that uh bottom one so that we can add more boost a little bit but at the same time i'm not sure yet i might just leave it alone so we don't go make too much you know we don't just fucking go shooting up and making too much power we do have the throttle body right here which i will probably be taking off getting that ported i was looking at a k-tech one that someone had locally but he wanted like 400 dollars for it which I think is kind of expensive to pay for a throttle body, but I might just take mines and get it ported. Uh, we won't have to use this anymore, I believe. We do have the Z06 one, so we won't have to use the uh, this one right here as far as how those hoses kept popping off on me. As you guys know, I kept having an issue with these popping off the little connections right there. So we probably won't have to deal with that anymore since we'll have the Z06 one with the blower now, so we won't have that issue um, as well. But yes sir we are going to get that ported but i did want to keep you guys updated man the c7 is coming apart um, everything's going down charlie's making a lot of effort staying late uh he is at the other shop currently so but everything's taking apart we're making moves um i do have to look up the snow performance methanol injection kit and uh go from there really because everything else is just time you know he has to take the time get over here work because he's at the other shop he has to come all the way to this one and uh get it knocked out so Stay tuned, stay updated, man. Supercharger build's going good so far. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. Um, I might be upgrading a few things in between, you know, like changing out some things. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button. I appreciate all the support. Um, just taking time, it's money. You know, it, we can't just go fast and snap our fingers and it's all done here. So, you know, it's, we're on consistent time. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's Hurt the Nerd on Instagram. Follow my Twitch. I'm on Twitch streaming uh, every now and then. So check me out, man. I love y'all, man. Peace out.